So now today is a research platform which is used uh, by universities and research institutes uh, to work on uh, different developments. So uh, for, for example, uh, navigation or interaction uh, robot-human, uh, or voice recognition, speech recognition, speech synthesis, and so on. Uh, now it's also an educational platform, so it's used uh, for, um, for different courses uh, in engineering studies by universities, engineering schools, uh, or even uh, like high schools. And um, there are educational applications uh, also for uh, children who learn to, uh, to count, to, uh, to read, and uh, children who want to learn languages as well. So now speaks mostly French, but uh, he can uh, also speak English, uh, Chinese, Japanese, uh, also German, of course, and many other. He's got uh, 60 centimeters, has 25 degrees of freedom, and he's got so many sensors. Here you have uh, the cameras, you have microphones, you have also the tactile sensor, uh, which he has on the, on the head. So he can recognize whether you tap on his head, you're not happy, or what you, if, you, uh, if you caress him, so if it's okay. And he's also a uh, dumb uh, for obstacle uh, avoidance. Yeah, of course. Now I can recognize your face. He can recognize like you are his master, or you are like the, uh, you are part of, of the family, and um, in, uh, then he can adapt to your preferences, to your behavior, uh, and so it's really uh, it's a platform which can be quite uh, personalized. No, it's a platform that can be very easily programmable. So you can program uh, in like classical program languages and C++ and so on. But uh, we developed also a choreograph which, uh, in which you can pro uh, program with C++ or you can program uh, without, you can program without having really uh, very important skills. It's a very intuitive way of programmation. Uh, there is the whole community around the robot who will uh, develop their own applications and then you will be able also to share it with the others and so uh, there will be really like this, uh, you know, what exists today with uh, iPhones. Uh, we have many questions to which we are searching answers. Uh, for example, do you want your robot to, to surprise you or not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> so it would be okay for you, but maybe uh, some other people uh, would be horrified if uh, they had their robot uh, who would take initiative to, to do certain things. So um, one th uh, there's one thing for sure that you will be really able to personalize your robot. And so uh, maybe, well, to see how to do it, but uh, you, will, you may have a have a choice of different um, like personalities, uh, whether uh, you want your robot to be only nice or whether you want to be reluctant sometimes or uh, if you want uh, the robot to dis disobey you, for example, or you really want it to, to do exactly what you say at exact time and exact way you want it to be. You will be able to, to buy it in quite a short time. We are preparing a uh, launching of the robot on the, on the public market, so hopefully it will come very, quite soon. I think next year you, can, you will be able to have one. So I cannot really give you a fixed price. Today the robot uh, costs uh, 12,000 euros. And so, of course, for the, for the public market, it will be much cheaper. Uh, but, well, uh, we would like to divide the, the actual price uh, by four, by three, uh, by, I don't know, 
we'll see.